In a small village nestled at the edge of an ancient, sprawling forest, lived a young girl named Alara. The villagers spoke of the forest with a mix of reverence and fear, for it was said to be home to magical creatures and powerful spirits. Alara, however, had always felt a deep connection to the forest. She spent her days exploring its hidden paths, listening to the whispers of the trees, and watching the animals that called it home. Alara was different from the other villagers. With her long, raven-black hair and piercing blue eyes, she had an air of mystery about her. She often wore simple, earth-toned clothes and carried a small satchel filled with herbs and trinkets she had collected on her journeys. Despite her solitary nature, Alara was known for her kindness and her uncanny ability to heal sick animals and plants. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting the forest in a golden glow, Alara set out on her usual walk. She followed a familiar path that wound its way through the trees, leading her to a secluded clearing where a large, ancient oak tree stood. This tree was her favorite spot, a place where she felt truly at peace. She sat at the base of the tree, closed her eyes, and listened to the sounds of the forest. As she sat in quiet contemplation, Alara heard a faint rustling sound. She opened her eyes to see a small, glowing figure standing before her. It was a forest spirit, no taller than a squirrel, with delicate wings that shimmered like the surface of a pond. The spirit's eyes were wide with worry, and its voice trembled as it spoke. Alara, guardian of the forest, we need your help. A great danger threatens our home. Alara's heart quickened. What is it? What has happened? The spirit fluttered closer, its glow illuminating the darkening clearing. An ancient evil has awoken deep within the forest. A dark sorcerer, long thought to be defeated, has returned. He seeks to corrupt the heart of the forest and bend its magic to his will. If he succeeds, the forest and all who dwell within it will be lost. Alara felt a surge of determination. Tell me where to find him. I will do whatever it takes to protect the forest. The spirit nodded and pointed towards the deeper darker part of the forest. He is in the shadow grove, a place where light never reaches. Be cautious, Alara. The sorcerer's power is great, and his heart is filled with malice. Alara stood and gathered her things, her mind already focused on the task ahead. Thank you for warning me. I will leave immediately. As she made her way deeper into the forest, Alara felt a sense of urgency and purpose. The trees grew taller and the underbrush thicker, but she moved with the grace and confidence of someone who knew the forest intimately. The air grew cooler and the light dimmer as she approached the shadow grove. The entrance to the shadow grove was marked by a twisted, gnarled tree that seemed to pulse with a dark energy. Alara steeled herself and stepped into the grove. The air was heavy with the scent of decay, and the only sound was the distant croak of a raven. As she ventured further, she saw signs of the sorcerer's corruption. Trees with blackened, withered leaves, streams that ran dark and murky, and animals that moved sluggishly, their eyes dull and lifeless. Alara's heart ached for the suffering of the forest, and she quickened her pace. Eventually, she reached a clearing where the sorcerer stood, surrounded by swirling shadows. He was tall and cloaked in darkness, his eyes glowing with an eerie red light. In his hands, he held a staff that seemed to draw in the light around him, 
leaving the area in perpetual twilight. So, the forest guardian has come to stop me, the sorcerer sneered. You are too late. The heart of the forest will soon be mine. Alara stood her ground, her eyes blazing with determination. I will not let you destroy the forest. Leave now, and you may yet be spared. The sorcerer laughed, a cold, mirthless sound. Spared? You underestimate my power, girl. I have waited centuries for this moment, and no mere forest guardian will stand in my way. With a wave of his staff, the sorcerer summoned a wave of dark energy that surged towards Alara. She raised her hands, calling upon the magic of the forest to protect her. A barrier of shimmering light appeared, deflecting the sorcerer's attack. Alara knew she could not defeat the sorcerer with brute force alone. She needed to outsmart him, to use the forest's magic in ways he could not anticipate. She reached into her satchel and pulled out a handful of enchanted seeds. With a whispered incantation, she threw them to the ground. The seeds sprouted instantly, growing into thick, thorny vines that lashed out at the sorcerer. He snarled and tried to cut them down with his dark magic, but the vines regrew as quickly as he destroyed them. Alara used the distraction to move closer, her eyes fixed on the sorcerer's staff. She knew that the staff was the source of his power. If she could just get close enough to take it from him, she might have a chance. She summoned all her courage and charged forward, her heart pounding in her chest. The sorcerer saw her coming and swung his staff, sending a blast of dark energy towards her. Alara dodged to the side, the blast missing her by inches. She lunged forward, grabbing the staff with both hands. For a moment, they struggled, the sorcerer's strength pitted against Alara's determination. She could feel the dark energy seeping into her, trying to corrupt her, but she held on, drawing upon the light and magic of the forest to counter it. With a final, desperate effort, Alara wrenched the staff from the sorcerer's grasp and threw it to the ground. The dark energy dissipated, and the sorcerer staggered back, his power broken. No, he screamed, his voice filled with rage and despair. This cannot be. Alara stepped forward, her eyes cold and resolute. Leave this forest and never return. You have no power here anymore. The sorcerer glared at her, his eyes burning with hatred. This is not over, guardian. I will return, and when I do, you will regret ever crossing me. With that, he vanished into the shadows, leaving the clearing silent and still. Alara stood there for a moment, catching her breath and feeling the weight of what she had just accomplished. The forest spirit appeared beside her, its eyes filled with gratitude. You have done it, Alara. The forest is safe, thanks to you. Alara nodded, feeling a sense of relief and pride. We did it together. The forest and all its inhabitants played a part. As she made her way back to the village, Alara felt a renewed connection to the forest. She knew that her role as guardian was far from over, but she was ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. The forest was her home, and she would protect it with all her strength. Back in the village, the people greeted her with cheers and gratitude. They had seen the darkness recede and felt the forest's magic return. Alara became a revered figure, a symbol of hope and resilience. Years passed, and Alara continued to safeguard the forest, 
teaching others about its magic and the importance of harmony with nature. The village of Willowbrook thrived, its people living in harmony with the forest and its guardian. Alara's legacy lived on, inspiring future generations to protect the natural world and cherish the magic that lay within it. The forest remained a place of wonder and beauty, a testament to the courage and dedication of its guardian. And so, the tale of Alara, the guardian of the forest, became a legend, a reminder that even in the face of darkness, light and goodness would always prevail. The forest, with its ancient trees and magical creatures, stood as a beacon of hope and a sanctuary for all who sought its wisdom and protection.